Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Molly Holly, Pure and Wholesome. Uh, so Molly is this weekend's uh, feud character, and she is a showboat. She is a ruthless aggression showboat. Um, she has no links at this time. She does have a gear. Um, the second gear, this Pure and Wholesome gear, uh, with the tiara there it makes uh, all color submission moves do 250 percent more damage per turn i'm going to use it for the preview and i'll talk about why um, it'll make a difference obviously in the builds you see for that but i'll talk about that when we get there she is a coach 9k silence gems do 2200 more damage and she is a chaotic showboat uh, molly is extremely good um let's take a look here uh, i'm not going to use a um plate for this preview um, and uh, we'll talk about the options as we go through it. I do have yellow move damage metal on. It's not quite maxed at 14. It's 113%. And double fury. Um, not a maxed fury metal. So there's room for improvement there. She's only doing 67.5%. Basically across the board. A little bit more on green. Um, so there's that. So let's take a look at the first build set. This is the 5 star build set. And if you don't get the gear... Likely, this, I think, will be the build to go with, um, for sure, uh, in Feud and stuff. So it's going to feature the Pendulum Backbreaker, 6 MP, deal 86k damage, and choose a 2x5 area to swap into Purple Gems. And I believe one of these moves is going to change to the Molly Go Round. The uh, What it does is going to stay the same, but the, the, the animation and the name is going to change, I believe. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm kind of inclined to think it's this one, though. Um, 6 MP Elbow Drop, deal 71k damage and make 3 Snowfall Gems into Yellow uh, Gems. And then 6 MP Snap Suplex, deal 74k damage, choose a 3x1 area to make into Snowfall Gems, which will modify all gems below it into Multiply Gems of Strength 4 when broken by you. So let's check out the Entourage. We're going to go with Woods to get those purples started. Matt Hardy to add 2 to the Multiply Strength, that's going to make him X6. Uh, X8 in Feud, and then uh, Purple Gems do 20% more damage, and Green for Lacey, and then Santa Hogan for any color gems do 2,200 more damage. So let's get out here on the road. We're going to go against Bailey, class disadvantage uh, for us. I do have two perks, plus 3 MP, plus 2 on a match, and the gear does nothing for this build set. So uh, the fact that the gear's on will change nothing with this one. And I think if you don't get the gear, likely this is the move set for Feud, probably. Because uh, it's going to make those Multiply Gems really big. So the 2x5 area into Multiply Gems, uh, you're going to make it purple. So you want to kind of set it up where you can get a nice match uh, with it if possible. So we're going to throw it right here. And we're going to change these yellow. Which is going to fill our other move. And of course this recycles flawlessly. And now we're going to drop our 2x5 into purples. Connect these two extra multi-purples over here, as well as get this purple over here, right? So we're indexing the purple gems, and this should hit pretty hard. Right at a million damage at uh, five-star silver. Um, also keep in mind, showboats get a big gem damage boost at gold. And likely, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if those multiply gems go up one at gold. That tends to happen. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of graphic issues there. Molly looking pretty rough. <laughs> so there's that. But you can see that moveset's really, really good. Um, just in case it's the... I'll show you guys what without the gear, too. So without the gear, let's hide the... Let's go back to the normal one. This is the normal outfit. Okay. Next moveset. Um, we're going to keep the double purples. This is obviously available before 5 star. And then we're going to put the finisher in, uh, which is 10 MP falling power bomb. Um, this could also be the one that ends up being the molly go round. I don't know. Uh, deal 136k damage and choose 7 multiply gems to destroy. So same kind of principle, uh, except to get the finisher loaded, we're going to need an MP trainer. Uh, in feud, a 2 MP would be enough. So you could use like Beth Phoenix um, or something like that. Same thing in tours. Um, that would be plenty. Uh, I'm just going to throw Kofi on for this one. Everything else is going to stay the same. Um, so that first one, I kind of went over it quick. 
Uh, cheap Shot would definitely be the way to go. Otherwise, DX Army Assault has a chance or will go off when you break the purple gem. So there's that. Um, this one, you could do a few different ones because you're choosing the multiply. Kids Lightning is yellow, so I just went with yellow for the preview. But you could, uh, you're could, you also potentially selecting some purples. Yellow is obviously your biggest damage, so going to go that route. Um, of course, if you have um, Strowman uh, with 25% yellow gem damage, that would be better than Lacey. Um, so there's that. Let's see how this one looks. Same principle, right? Uh, but this time we're choosing the ones to destroy. So ideally we want to get yellows and purples um, where we can have them multiply. So two purple, um, four yellow. You can also look to see if there's a cascade you can set up with the that'll break multiply gems. That could potentially be good. Not the best board, uh, but we're going to work with what we got here. Finisher's pretty big, uh, gets a 60% boost in Feud, as well as these Multiply Gems going uh, two times bigger, so there's that. And with the Metal, we're at 271k. Now we're going to choose the Finisher. Again, we'll try and do some, see if we can set up anything fun for Cascades. It doesn't really look like the board is going to cooperate at all. This will give us here, and that'll make those drop, so we'll get a little extra damage out of that. After that, we want to get the yellows and purples, and we can get the rest of them. So let's do that. You could also use like a, um, one of the recycling plates in case you can't get purple or yellow, but you can see we refilled it pretty easy. Hit for 670k. Not super duper hard, but it will hit harder in Feud. Um, and again, it'll get a boost at gold, right? Because your, your uh, gem damage is going way up. So that's that move set. Moving right along here. Now we're going to get to where um, the gear makes a difference. A 250% um, to the sub damage. So this is really interesting. She has, and as far as I know, she's the first character in the game to have this. She has two submissions that recycle each other. So, and this is fascinating to me. Um, we're going to move um, the, the both of these subs in. They're new moves. Um, and then we're going to put the finisher back in for this build um, just as a, a second or a third option, right? So we got the Twin City Twister, 8 MP yellow. Choose 7 gems to make into green gems and do 61k damage for 4 turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength 4. Body Lock, Rear Naked Choke. Choose 9 gems to make into yellow submission gems and do 61k damage for 4 turns. Remaining turn into Protect Gems of 18k. They're both 8 MP. They're Choose and they recycle into each other. So uh, if you do it right, you can just do subs all day long. Sub, 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 sub. As you know in Feud, uh, there are nice sub perks. So without the gear, you're looking... Um, and, and you could go double yellow to get started or double green to get started. So options either way, right? Because you recycle into each other. For this one, we're going to go double green. Um, in feud without the gear, you're looking, I think, at about 1.8, 1.9 million um, for the... Oh, um, am I not... Did I not change the entourage for this one? I forgot to change the entourage. No, no, this is right. Um... You're probably looking at about 1.3 million-ish. Um, with the gear, you're right around 3 million uh, in Feud, I believe, if I did it correctly. Um, so basically, you hit one sub, hit the other sub, and it's over. And that's this one doesn't have the sub trainers because we're going to use the finisher. Next one, we'll have the sub trainers. And that damage was with sub trainers on the main sub. because uh, and, the, and you can do some interesting stuff. We'll get there. Um, don't worry, we'll get there. But this is fascinating to me. Um, and I would really want the gear for her. Like, really super want the gear uh, to buff the sub and for feud. But even without it, it's still super interesting. Uh, and I think I would enjoy it. So, let's... I'll show you what I mean. Keep in mind, this turns uh, multiplied... Oops, I didn't change my trainers uh, from yellow. <laughs> so we're going to see it uh, yellow, and then I'll put the two right green ones on, and we'll start with green. 
Um, but it doesn't matter. I like it starting with green because this is what leaves the multiply gems. Um, and I like doing this one second, right? But you can also do cool stuff like set up um, row breaks and just go for a lot of damage, right? And just leave one since we don't particularly care right now. Uh, we can just leave one multi here. We could leave more. Uh, but it's just really fun, nifty build that you can do a ton with. I mean, that's 150k extra damage on those two um, row breaks. It did, of course, leave her a 5 match. But she didn't take it. And we're going to have the finisher. It's only going to destroy one green gem. But this will get protect gems out there. Um... And this will recycle back to our move. So two, three matches is plenty. So we could do this, and we could do this, and then we're going to make yellow protect gems with the rest of them. And then we're going to hit the finisher. And then she's going to have a hard time kicking out if she's still alive, which she may not be. Uh, because we do have the gear, you can see the sub is hitting really hard. And this is without sub trainers and coaches. So we didn't even get to the finisher. Um, with the gear, you'd probably get to the finisher. Without the gear, you'd probably get to the finisher. All right, next one. And this is actually how I would run her for feud with the gear for sure, this last one. And maybe even um, without the gear, to be honest, I might try this as I think it'll be fun. And uh, this will actually see the green MP trainers. So I'm showing it with Bruno and Shelton. However, you can do that or... Uh, and we're going to see the one move we haven't seen, which is, is this reversal, this kick out. Uh, move description, kick out heal. It's a kick out with a heal. Don't know the strength of it yet. Um, we can see if we get pinned, if we can try and figure it out. Um, you'll have to wait to see what that is, I guess. Uh, maybe one of, someone will record this after um, or whatever. But uh, let's switch over to those green MP trainers for this one that I forgot to last one. And you can go Bruno and Shelton uh, for the green, because that's the first one you're going to use. Or um, if you don't have Bruno, you could go Bruno and Drew. Or if you don't have um, Shelton, you could go Drew and Bruno. There's just a lot you could you can do with this. Um, there's Shelton there, which you can see what it does on that one. I'm going to actually change this up on the fly and go with both move damage coaches. So we're going to go Bruno and Drew. Uh, so they're both going to be five turns, 90k. Then we're going to add the gear on, and it's going to be even more. And this is likely exactly how I would run her in feud um, with the kick out, because uh, you're going to sub, 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 kick out, win, right? Full drain, really easy to do. Pick which color you want to start with, depending on your your MP trainer. And uh, Bob's your uncle, you know. So this puts protect gems on the board, but to be, you know, full disclosure, guys, uh, we don't really care about that. We just want to get this sub rocking and rolling uh, and fill our other one up. And I'm just going to leave two, two gems for this. I don't care about the protect gems because we're going to sub a dub dub. Three columns of row breaks. So you're going to, that's why Fury and getting the damage. Again, cheap shot, Kid's Lightning you could use. Be careful if you're using something like Kid's Lightning that you don't eat your gems. You can see we're doing 250k outside of Feud. Uh, and almost get her gone on the first sub. So this, both of these combined is like a, should be over a 6 million drain in Feud. Um, and just really going to get the job done. And then you can recycle back. You could leave multiplies and choose into them. Um, on the next cycle, which is probably why I would still use this in Feud, uh, because of the versatility and it's fun. Um, because the ones you leave behind turn into Multiply. And then you could use the green sub to choose in and do even more damage. Um, and they're going to get buffed in Feud too. So just a fascinating character, really fun to use. I am actually think I'm going to uh, try and go after this one. You might see Whale Ricks come out and do some pulls, just because... She's super unique with those subs that go back and forth. And I think she's really fun and um, definitely excited to get a Ruthless Aggression uh, female to go with Beth. And a great showboat in the game for females. So, uh, yeah. 
Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.